Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are having a wonderful day. It is a wonderful evening here in Vancouver, BC, Canada. We have just finished day two of Fully Charged Live and we realised we hadn't done a Sunday musing. Kate's already done a chicken and garden update. I have, and if you've already watched that, uh, to update you, the last I heard, which was yesterday morning, uh, no, yesterday evening, Pippi was still doing okay-ish. Um, and Louise is doing okay. Yeah, so fingers crossed for the, for the chooks. Um, but we haven't filmed uh, Sunday Music. And we said, oh, we'd do something on the road. We never did. Um, partly just for logistical reasons. And we've been working so hard. I think I got five hours of sleep last night. You got less. I got about five, but the quality was very poor. And I know that we are very tired. So we figured we'd speak to you about a problem that we've noticed. Um, we've been noticing for a long time. And we need your help. This is kind of, we need your help. Uh, so as you know, Transport Evolved has been struggling a bit lately with the subscriber count and it's not for anything that we've done. All of the videos that we make, the new videos we make, we always gain subscribers. Occasionally we might lose one, but then we normally gain one a, a few days later. Sometimes we can gain, you know, 20, 30, 40 subscribers on every new video and we'll have a really good week. But overall, our subscriber count has been falling and we haven't been able to figure out why because the the analytics from youtube from the youtube studio says we are gaining subscribers on all of our recent videos but our daily subscriber loss has been peaking at over a hundred lost subscribers every day we just couldn't figure out why well at fully charged live we think we found out an answer so some of you who have been patrons have unsubscribed from patreon and cited as the reason for leaving they are no longer active they are no longer making content we should have seen that as a red flag mm -hmm. but we had five or six people come up to us the first two days of fully charge going why aren't you making content or i don't see your videos in my feed anymore or oh i didn't think you were doing it anymore or some variation on that one person actually comes up and says, I am a subscriber, your videos are not showing up in my feed anymore. And then when they went to the subscribe page for our channel, their phone was like, no, you're not a subscriber. And they were like, that's funny. I know I'm subscribed, but it's showing up as not subscribed. And we've had similar conversations. And we've heard this on and off for a while. Other content creators it's, have been having it as well. Yeah, and it does seem to be a problem that w when we've reached out to YouTube, they've been like, no, there isn't a problem. But it, it really does seem to be a problem that's really starting to bite with us. And it's going, we're seeing a, a giant ramp up in subscribers and then a giant, even more giant drop. And it seems to be like almost like a sawtooth wave. It's not an organic thing, right? If it was organic, it would, it would make sense. But it feels very, um, very machine-like. So if you have any suggestions as to why that's happening, or you, maybe you're at YouTube, maybe someone who watches this actually works at YouTube, I don't know. If you have any ideas, please let us know. The other thing that we're struggling with right now is... Is behind you. Now you can't really see it because it's behind you, but there is a giant TV. I don't know it's 90 inches or something, a yeah, million inches. I mean, it's like six foot from us, so it's huge. But when we search for our channel first up you know you have to search for transport e v o l v and then you kind of get us appearing i think it was about that point you get a couple of videos from us and you get a load of videos from other people and then you get more of our videos but you don't get any of our recent videos you get a couple no. of our recent videos and then you get it, it creates the impression that we haven't made content for a really long time it also creates the impression that we only make 10 yeah, I mean, the list is basically 10 and then maybe a couple of random videos from the past two years. That have done well. It. Yeah. That have done well. Yeah, so it does look like we produce videos once a week, not, you know, oh, three times a week plus... Five, plus, five times a week yes. and five or six times a week, yeah. Um, we actually produce six videos a week. Yeah. Um, and it's not showing those up. Um, granted, two of them are on a different channel, so yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Uh, but we, we're getting very few eyeballs on our videos because our videos are getting suggested very infrequently. The other thing that is a big challenge is robots. 
are coming for our job. AI, AI, good at it, AI is starting to produce videos about, about, about EVs. So good example here, okay, for you. And we should note here, we're not logged in as a YouTube user. It's just like a, we just searched for our channel because we were curious to see if it showed up on uh, the channel and one that's not geographically linked to any of our devices and is, you know, not signed in as any of us after the conversations we've had in the last couple of days. And we got a, a video here that says, Toyota's new flying car is finally hitting the market with a Tesla logo in the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah. And then ex almost exactly the same thumbnail uh, with China's new $156,000 flying car is finally hitting the market. Now, both of those are by the same channel. They both have over 300,000 views. Yeah. We watched the first bit of it and it was absolute tosh. It was garbage. Just completely machine generated nonsense that anything that you get out of chat gpt could have produced it just it sounds vaguely like it has some kind of of thought process that's gone into it but actually there's no actual facts in it there's nothing verifiable it's just completely made up and then that's followed in the suggestion list by justin elon musk revealed the electric vtol plane 629,000 629,000 views it's got a lot of lifted footage from other companies. And the funny thing about this one is that it lifts footage from MKBHD and a couple of other big uh, channels. It also has, uh, why didn't you link to Elon Musk Live, which I thought was a cryptocurrency scam channel. It might well be. And this is a different channel. Uh, it also links, it uses footage by CNET. Yes, I'm sure CNET are thrilled. Like that. And CNET, I don't know if it was this one or one of the other ones, but one of the ones we kind of skimmed through used footage from CNET and the video cites CNET as the source, but they used an on basically a screen capture and in the top corner is CNET's credit for the video, which is the original company. Yeah. Um, for this it was this video because they use Elon Musk's supposed new EV toll plane is a combination of the Kitty Hawk flyer yes and a couple of other bit uh, 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 EV toll craft that do yes, exist that do exist and then the Alice uh, from Eviation yes the Eviation Alice so uh so how do we overcome this kind of right nonsense like if this is what the algorithm is driven to promote, this is what it's pushing. You know, Elon Musk introduces Tesla's first flying vehicle, and I can't see it now, but the other one which was my favourite was that Elon Musk had bought Ford. Yeah, Elon Musk bought Ford apparently two months ago. Yeah. According just... to this video, it had, you know, five, six hundred thousand views. This one about Elon Musk introduces Tesla's first flying vehicle, 936,000 views. And... I feel like we're moaning, but we are moaning, I guess. We uh, have suffered a lot. Our ad revenue has dropped. And I know we talk about this a lot. And I know I've made some kind of thinly veiled statements about, I don't know how long we can keep this up in its current form. We might have to look for alternative ways of bringing in money for the channel. But we've noticed a precipitous drop month after month after month. We're not alone. This is happening to all content creators. We're all in the space, and I said the other day, maybe we should have a YouTube union, because mm -hmm. um, I think this would be a really good way of doing it. But the reason why we're losing our ad revenue is because the ads are now placed On automatically this. by algorithms who look for the videos that are most engaging and getting the most views. And if, you're, if we're up against a video with, with nearly a million views that is completely fabricated, with a an AI voice. And then it's preceded by a Mercedes-Benz advert, which is a big spend advert. Or an Audi advert. Yeah, if we if we ever do actually get and we do sometimes if we if we post a review and we time it right and it's for a big luxury car, we can earn two, three, four hundred dollars in the first week from that video because the car companies are like, oh this is a competitor's car, we could put our ads in front. 
They're not doing that anymore because as soon as you mention a Tesla or Elon Musk or some fantastic new breakthrough vehicle, the algorithms that apportion ad dollars go to that instead. So we can't compete with, you know, a hundred thousand views, a million views of complete fabrication. Uh, because fabrications are easier. Maybe we need to do that. Maybe we need to make a, we actually own the Transport Devolved YouTube channel, right? So we, we bought, we, we didn't bought, buy it. We established it one year as a joke. That's, that's it. We'll just produce completely made up content. On, on the Transport Devolved. And then maybe that's how we do it and that'll fund our uh, fund our channel so just so that you know you, we know we're not kidding so if you look at our channel it shows the video we made 10 days ago one we made seven days ago one we made one month ago two months ago four weeks ago one month ago one month ago one two days ago from a channel that wasn't us and we're also seeing uh youtube channels claim our content Again, that's increased. I'm spending a lot of my time playing whack-a-mole with copyright claims. Now, for those who don't know, copyright trolls is, is a thing. It's becoming worse on YouTube. And it gives us kind of not a lot of um, incentive to push hard to make unique content. I mean, I think uh, the thing to address with that is that it's you can't ignore it. So if we ignore a copyright troll who's claiming that video that we've used, which was provided by a manufacturer, is their content, then one, we'd lose the ad revenue, and two, we could get a copyright strike. So we have to go through and dispute every single time one of those And you have to channels. manually do it. You yeah, can't automatically not. do it. Um, I mean, we had a couple of, we had a problem a couple of years ago. We just had to stop using content from one particular, uh, for piece of footage we'd got. And it was from Tesla actually, mm -hmm. because there was this big news network in France that was as soon as that particular segment was used in any of our videos, it just whack a mold us. Mm. I think we got six or seven copyright claims on the same day from the same company. And there's no... The way this works, there is no um, ramifications for them doing that. It's no. not, not like they get the opposite of a copyright strike of a no, you claimed copyright on something that wasn't yours, because that's not the way it works. And we don't have enough money as a company to have a lawyer on staff. That would be great, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we talked to Ligia. Yeah. Um, see if she'd come and, you know, be our pet lawyer. <laughs> to, but I think that her... her layer of expertise was um was uh patents so a yeah. little bit out outside of, of the wheelhouse but no look if you have any ideas on this please let us know and also please support us on patreon we currently have 150,000 subscribers if, if every one of them paid us a dollar a month, month that would be 12 dollars a year which is two coffees a year for most of the world and one coffee if you live in vancouver bc um, we, look, we'd be able to do so much, right? If every one of those 150,000 people gave us $1 a month. Yeah. We could pay everybody on the staff what they're actually worth, which we don't right now. We could get a, we could get other camera people to help our, our poor DP out. Yeah. Who, who was overworked and underpaid. Same for our animator. Yeah. We could get could a whole team, team of animators and we can make really cool videos and it's just a dollar a month. So if you are one of those people who's like, well, oh, I don't want to be a Patreon supporter. One dollar a month, if enough people did it, would make a really big difference. Let's see if we can increase our Patreon support. By what? Let's get 200 of these view of the, our viewers. 200 yeah. of our viewers. 200 of our viewers. Okay. To, to pledge to support us for a dollar a month, maybe for a year, see what a difference can make. Anyway, I know it's a long video, I know it's not really a Sunday amusing, but if you do have ideas, let us know, because we are fed up <laughs> of YouTube right now. <laughs> um, and we can't get on Nebula for whatever reason. Yeah. And Float Plane has some issues at the moment, being connected to Linus Tech Tips. So, yeah. Hmm. 
ideas gratefully received anyway enjoy the rest of your day i hope it's awesome we'll be back to normal next week and until next time keep, keep evolving, evolving.